Hello guys and welcome to a new video, a short one this time. Uh, today we are working on a, on a Wi-Fi smart plug from China um, that is not working anymore. As you can see, mm, this is not initiating. We only have a, a red uh, blinking LED here and nothing is uh, is working on uh, on this unit so if you have this problem with your um uh, smart plugs let me show you how to to repair it it's really simple so as i said the problem with this uh, uh smart socket it's uh, one capacitor actually it's one of this capacitor that got a little bit bulged here it's a 1000 microfarad capacitor for 10 volts, but you can use any value for voltage higher than 10. The only problem if you use bigger voltage is that the entire capacitor will be a little bit bigger. I didn't find a 10 volt 1000 microfarad capacitor. I found a 16 volt instead so as you can see it's a little bit higher so hopefully it will fit the enclosure okay so let's open it up so we have three phillips screws we have to remove these screws here one here One here. One here. So three in total. Then this part is coming out. This part, again, it's simply coming out. And then we have an additional two screws. One here and one here to remove. Let's remove also them. These are really short screws. Okay, and the capacitor that we are talking about is this one here. So in order to change it, we need to remove the, the PCB board. That's why we had to remove these two screws. And now the entire socket will come out. So take your hand and just push it a little bit inside. And then just use a, a spudger or something to lift the PCB board up. This can be placed with some glue by the factory. Take your time, don't uh, force it. And now we have the entire PCB board out. And we will remove this capacitor here, which is, I don't know if you see, a little bit bulge. This is how you can tell what's the problem. Okay. So we will use our soldering iron. Make sure of the polarity of the capacitor. Don't put it the other way around. So we got it out. Now we have to clean the, the holes. For this we will use some uh, wick.
and now let's put the new capacitor in. Pay attention to the polarity. We are through. Now let's use a little bit of solder. Not the best soldering job, but it will work. And now let's put everything back together. fine with the spacing this back here one here and all the screws back in their place and that's it let's go and uh, test the unit so this is the repaired unit let's put it in in the socket as you can see already initiated and now it will power on so after changing this small capacitor, this really cheap capacitor, now you have a fully working unit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if I helped you, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.